Michael in Victorville, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. How you doing, Michael? Hello? Yes, make your point. Stop asking me how I'm doing. You don't know me, for God's sakes. <laughs> how you doing, Michael? This is Michael from Victorville, and I'm... I'm hanging up, that's all. That's number two. If you ever get on my show, there's a couple of rules. Never ask me how I'm doing. This is not... This is not breaking one radio. You don't know me. I don't know you. We're not chatting. It's national radio. Come up with a cogent point. Or don't get on my show at all. I can't take this. I kill myself to do this right. And I have to talk to the stupid, stupidest people. I'm going to try one more call. Then I'm not taking another call all week. Matthew in Cincinnati, Ohio. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Hello. Go ahead, Matthew. Hello. You're on the radio. Yes. I think Obama is right on this Egypt issue. Well, that's not enough of a statement. Tell us why. Because Islam is a religion, and it is a world religion, and it should be respected. Listen, fool. What religion is Mubarak, fool? Mubarak? He is no religion. He's a listen, you, listen, Putz. Putz, he's a Muslim, you schmuck. What are you talking about? You're making it as though Mubarak is not a religion. He's a, he's a Muslim, you moron. Where do you get your information from, you putz, you? Huh? You cannot take idiots. KNEW, Derek, you're on the Savage Nation. Uncle Mike, how you doing? Thank, uh, um, the, the, the... You're off the air, that's it. I don't care if you love me or not. You ask me how I'm doing, you're off the air. The rules are going back to what I originally did on the radio. No more how you doing, ever! Don't ask me how I'm doing. I'm not Rush Limbaugh. And don't tell me it's a great honor to call me. I'm not Rush Limbaugh. I'm not an empty suit with an empty golf bag. I don't need you to tell me you love me. Ever. And don't ask me how I'm doing. You don't know me. Atlanta, Georgia. Mike on WSP. Go ahead, please. You uh, shut your bigoted, ignorant yap. You're not talking to your ex-brother-in-law. You're talking to Michael Savage, putz. Get off my show. Go goggle with Rogaine, you little Hitler, you. Tell me what I don't know about the AIDS epidemic that you know. The AIDS got there. Do you know how the AIDS got there? You know how it got there? Yeah, yeah, I know how it got there. I know how it got there. It got there because it was spread by eating green monkey meat, my friend, if you study the science. But I don't think you have the capacity to understand science, my dear friend Kojo. You have a big old mouth. You don't listen to nobody. You are criticizing African people. You are criticizing... Wait, why don't, you, why don't you just shut up for a minute? You're telling me that you know more about my country than I do, but I know nothing about your country? Who has the big mouth here, Kojo? You are criticizing the president, the candidate, everybody. Why don't you be a president of the United States? You stupid man. See, we don't live in Africa where people settle arguments with machetes. We live in a country where we settle it with arguments, something you apparently don't know anything about. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue, my friend Kojo? See, there you go. Couldn't use the machete, so his mind went blank. West Palm Beach, Frank, you're up. Please go ahead. I think you're a racist cracker. You know why? Because well, thank we... you. Thank you for the compliment, Frank. And what would that make you? You, we, you... Well, no, what would that make you coming up with a statement like that? A gentle, caring man? Now, let me ask you something. How many white men died freeing the slaves? Huh? You heard me. Don't give me a huh. How many white men died freeing the slaves? Look, white men did No, you look. No, you look. Don't give me a double talk. I'm not going to listen to your, your jive. How many white men died? 400,000 to 600,000. That's the answer. Now, how many millions of dollars or trillions of dollars were spent on welfare? Uh, and what has that done for society? Nothing. And how many blacks got jobs they didn't deserve simply because of their skin color? The greed that they died in the Civil War. Ah, come on, you're full of crap. Why don't you just do it on your own? What about people who weren't in the country uh, during the time of slavery? They should pay too? 25 million slaves died on the cross. That's an invented number by revisionist historians. You bought it lock, stock, and barrel from the Nation of Islam textbook. That's a lie. Look, Frank, Frank, you're an ignorant man filled with hatred, and I can't help you. Again, we go to Chicago, the home of Barack Hussein Obama. Scotty, welcome to the program on WIND. What's on your mind, Scotty? Hey, the more you talk about common, the more you're alienating yourself. And, uh, you know, America, the youth culture, I mean, 
you making yourself sound dated and, and more has been. The youth culture is listening. All right, listen, 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 wise guy. If you think I'm going to pander to illiterate morons because that is what you want me to do, you are mistaken. Maybe that's something you would do if you could get a radio show, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just telling you that this is how You're not you're telling me nothing. What do you know? Does anyone know who you are? You're unheard of. You're unknown. You're a man in the gutter with a, with a radio in your hand. That's all you are. I, I'm a man of great stature in this country, so who are you to tell me I should pander to illiterate bums? You are a paranoid... You are nobody. You're, you're nobody. You're a man walking in the gutter who thinks that by criticizing a giant, it makes you bigger. It doesn't make you anything. Have you done anything anybody would notice? Ask your son if you're a giant. You're not a giant, you're a joke. Oh, come on. You know you're a loser. What did you do in life that we should be uh, aware of? You are a joke. I asked you something. I'm not going to let you stay on this show for one more second. Tell us what you have done that you're proud of. I get on what I want to. I already told you, you're a paranoid... I ask you what you do that you are proud of other than shoot your mouth off. I, I am a you don't do anything. You walk around with a radio in your hand and you think by making a phone call you're a strong man. How does your son... You are nobody. You're, you're nobody. You're nothing. You're just an Obama man. You're just a man who votes for a man. That's all you are. Your son's not... Probably... All right, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Go wear the crack pants and uh, enjoy yourself. New York, W-O-R. John, welcome to the program. Yeah, so I'm telling you, he was deserved to be fine, and he's sticking up for these people. All you bums, you working for the tea parties, all of you. Ah, oh, you shut your mouth, you street bum, you. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Who listens to you? Who the hell would ever listen to you other than someone on talk radio? Who do you think you are? What have you done with your life, you nothing? Again, trust me. Who, who are you? Tell me who you are. Tell me what you do for a living, that you know anything. What do you know? What, would you go to the third grade? I go, beat it a cat. You know, phony baloney. What do you do? You sell drugs somewhere in Harlem? What do you do for a living? I do. I do better than you. Talk about you white. You are what do you? Well, tell us what you do. You know what I do. Tell us what you do. You want to get down and dirty with me? Tell millions of people who you are and what you do. The bum, the savage. You're the savage. You know what, my friend? No one will ever hear of you again. You just had your one second of fame. Goodbye. Have a nice life. So there is one of the minions that Obama would like to make part of his private security force. And don't, by the way, forget for one minute what Obama said prior to, be, uh, to, to finagling his way into office. Remember that Obama promised that one day he would replace the military with his own private military force that reports only to him. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well funded. Okay, let's start with let's start with you. What did I say that's un-American? Well, you're attacking President Obama before he's even had a chance. He won in the Hey schmuck, hey schmuck. Schmuck! Schmuck, listen to me. I'm not your weak father. I'm Michael Savage. Let me tell you like it is, schmuck. Obama has passed five executive orders. He's jammed through a trillion-dollar spending bill. It doesn't matter whether it was done in one week or in four years. Don't tell me I have to wait 100 days. If I wait 100 days, there'll be no country left. He's doing what he was elected to do. He, had the he was not elected to rob the Treasury. Didn't this man say he would not appoint lobbyists? He said that two days ago. The people are sick of not... Wait a minute, shut up! Shut your mouth! Do you understand that you are an idiot? You're the dupe that he wanted. You're the chinless wonders that elected him. I wouldn't put you... I would definitely get you off the air, though. You have no place... You would? You know what, my friend? Not only will you not get me off the air, my show has never been bigger. And it's going to get bigger and bigger. Do you know why? Because your man is a hypocrite. Your man is a fraud. And I am going to be not the last but perhaps the first to continue this exposure of this fraud. Well, what is this call about? It's to blame Republicans. I am talking about Obama and the missile shield. I'm talking about today's news, Brett. Well, what, what, what about it? I mean, I, I think that he's right to get rid of the missile shield. We need to get rid of this military-industrial complex. We need to cut back our forces. And I think Obama is going to get us out of these forces. Well, I, I think you're a pacifist. You're the type of man who that if a gangbanger came to your door to rape your wife, you'd say, come on in. Oh, 
yeah, man. Just get the. Yeah. All right. Take a walk. Don't call my show. Your your cowardice is so overwhelming that it weakens the audience's ears. They don't need you. Never call the show. Never. I don't ever want you to call the show. I only want you to call liberals. That's where you belong with the other pacifist worms in America. Okay, now we'll go back to the other callers who may have bigger brains. You mean even though we're too stupid to know he's so great, is that it? No, not too stupid. We're um, blindsided by the, by the media. Oh, we're excited by the media. Then why is it that his poll numbers are so low? Hmm? You heard me. Why are Obama's poll numbers so low if he's so great? Because the media portrays him to be that low. Oh, it's the media who pushed through socialized medicine. It wasn't Obama and Nancy Pelosi. Pushed through socialized medicine. Uh, Obama's yeah. not pushing through socialized medicine. I don't know what socialized medicine you is. You don't know anything I because you're an ignorant woman. But the unfortunate reality is you live in a free country and you can actually get on the airwaves and make an idiot of yourself. I'm right. not making it. Get out. Take a walk. Don't ever call this show again. You lower the IQ of the... How are contractors who put... Obama in power going to get paid back. After all, Nancy Pelosi is gorging on your on your money. Bonnie Frank, Bonnie Frank is gorging on your money. Bonnie Frank says don't give back top money, even though the contract says that when the money is earned back, the top money has to go back to the taxpayer. Bonnie Frank says, oh no 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 no, don't give it back to the taxpayer. I want to spend it on certain things. So uh, because uh, I'm a chosen, uh, I'm chosen to do this. I mean, it's a day of war. This is awesome that I can do this. It's pretty awesome when you consider that I'm a, a schmuck who knows nothing. I got so far. And, and when you think about it, that I can go so far as to steal money from the taxpayers that are supposed to get back and nothing happens. It's pretty awesome. It shows you we're living in the days of war. This is the Savage Nation. Be here. <laughs> Donna in New York on WOR. Go ahead, please. Michael, you're correct. They're taking advantage of the uh, Obama in the White House. This is a chess game. Obama has been dismantling our economy so that we can't be strong enough to defend Israel. Um, I also right. The big loser here is Israel. Obama and the liberals want Israel gone. They want it divided. They want a Palestinian nation. They want it overnight. They want to see this happen in Israel. And then they want the Jewish state to disappear, to be absorbed into a greater Middle East, so that the New World Order can all be uh, a happily won, one, happily won, one new Middle East without Israel. 